Discovering the origins of the world. Exploring the history of mankind. Developing new therapies. Understanding how our brains work. Unraveling the mysteries of nature and using this knowledge to man's benefit. Research to overcome the limits of our present knowledge. These are the tasks being tackled by Germany's most renowned organization for basic research. The Max Planck Society. This includes 12,000 employees and research scientists as well as 10,000 junior and guest scientists working in 80 institutes. The best conditions for excellent basic research. Breakthrough discoveries cannot be foreseen nor planned but we provide the framework to make these discoveries possible. How did the universe come into existence? And how did the stars and planets? Why do the laws of nature work the way they do? Fundamental questions for first-class research scientists. The Max Planck Society's institutes for astronomy and physics are involved in most of the important space missions and in the operation of numerous powerful telescopes around the world. How do global cycles function? To what extent is man responsible for climate change? The complexity of the Earth's system represents the challenge for basic research. Extremely powerful computers help mankind to find sustainable solutions for the future. New forms of energy are required. One possibility is the sun's energy in the form of nuclear fusion. Together with hydrogen, this represents one of the major hopes for the future. The laser. Here, work is going on to create the next generation. Tomorrow's world needs new materials. Patents and know-how are among the most important location factors. Materials scientists at the Max Planck Society enjoy the very best reputation worldwide. Whether in the field of nanotechnology, research into basic phenomena, or in functional characteristics, analysis and modeling of complex systems, these are the main focus of computer science and mathematics, providing the basis for a new perspective on our world. What is life? How does that tiny gene develop into a plant that provides us with food? How can we achieve better, healthier foodstuffs for all our planet's inhabitants? Using organisms such as zebrafish as models, our scientists study the principles of biology. Evolution, structural and molecular biology provide the basis for new therapies. Goals which can only be achieved when all conditions are right. Scientists need the freedom to decide how to focus their research. They need conditions in which they don't have to justify each new step. We still know far too little about the wealth of biodiversity. Our studies constantly provide new discoveries. This small gecko, for example, was the inspiration for a new kind of Velcro fastener. Science must search beyond the classical disciplines. The apes, ancestors of mankind, previously the prerogative of behavioral science, nowadays the focus of many different disciplines, from cultural science to genetics. Interdisciplinarity is a basic principle. What is consciousness? Does free will exist? Max Planck Institutes examine the basic principles of thinking. And how can our mind retain or regain its health? How does the world get inside our head? And how can this be optimized? This is the question facing educational research. And here too, the Max Planck Society is a pioneer and an advisor to political decision makers. So too, in research into aging and into demographic development, two key questions for our future. In the shade of the Florence Cathedral, art historians research the roots of Western cultural history in inspiring surroundings. Who does knowledge belong to? The Max Planck Society also turns its attention to such key legal questions. Important here, as at all institutes, is the promotion of young researchers. Young researchers are the future of our science, 
In our institutes, they have the opportunity to work with world-class researchers to learn how science is done at the highest international level. I think the general conditions are essential, the funding and the exchange with leading scientists. One of the valuable opportunities, I would say, is the access to international resources. I chose the Max Planck Institute because it's one of the best institutes to do theoretical astrophysics and cosmology. A cornerstone of our success is the principle of founding an institute for new issues, such as the investigation of the roots of mankind, searching for the best brains in the world, and equipping them for successful research. When I think back to the dreams I had as a child, I have to admit that my life now exceeds my childhood dreams. World-class facilities at the institutes enable scientists to concentrate fully on their research. They are one of the reasons why the Max Planck Society is so successful in scientific competition. This is how the semiconductor laboratory constructs the finest X-ray detectors in our solar system. The Max Planck Society produces the resource knowledge. And this is the bedrock, not only for the scientific, but also for the economical development of a society. What is the inmost force which binds the world? There, at the limits of our present knowledge, at the threshold to the unknown, the Max Planck Society's scientists are looking for the answers with boundless creativity and excellent facilities.